Hello everybody. So I'm gonna do a little quick 60 and beyond with Skylark on this 3rd of February. I'm sitting down at the Bayshore Marina. I look very white. That's because there is an absolutely gorgeous sun facing me. It is so stunning right now. 50 degrees. It feels like this winter is a long spring. I don't, um, well, let me say, okay, so 60 and beyond with Skylark. That is my vlog. I post the first Monday of the month, uh, and I do post other things in between. Like I did just a few minutes ago, I posted a song, I'm trying to get that shadow off my face. I posted a song that I recorded the other morning while I was in my car ready to go into work because I wanted to tell my sweetheart that I love him. And so this 60 and beyond is about, it all begins and ends with you and fulfilling your dreams. That's mostly what I talk about on my vlog and telling someone how much you love them. Um, and so for you newbies to my vlog, um, I started this because when I was turning 60 a couple of years ago, I noticed things were really changing within me. It was a different age. It was a different experience. I was feeling different emotions, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, you start to change. And this is, this really can be an incredible time in your life. And as some of you know, I recently went back to school. I am a second semester senior at Farmingdale State College, and I'm majoring in professional communications to enhance my vlog, my radio show, uh, which I also post promotion for here. Um, all things Skylark Live, which is my brand, because when I retire in five and a half years, I want to work full-time, part-time, whatever, freelance, in radio, voiceover, uh, public speaking, you know, anything that falls under my brand. Uh, I may still sing, I don't know, but I'm laying the groundwork for that stage in my life. And so, if some of you tonight think that it's too late to start something, absolutely not. You are alive, hopefully you're healthy, you're still thriving, even if you're retired or you're planning on retiring. It's good to have a five-year plan before you retire because then you can really capitalize on your savings, where you want to live. You can really lay down the groundwork you can start your plan. And it really takes about that long, I think, to really get something going so that when you retire, you can just pick up and start all over again, which is what I'm going to do. Of course, health is so important. Um, as some of you know, my boyfriend had open heart surgery recently, and um, we actually just saw the surgeon today, so he's doing well. But it has required a lot of energy on my part and a lot of focus to keep a good schedule, to make sure that we have all the right medicine, to make sure uh, you know all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, and it's a lot. So. Uh, I keep a little booklet uh, on me at all times. I write all the notes down. Um, but I know that it all begins and ends with me because I'm a caregiver uh, at this time. And I have been for quite a few years with family and now um, my boyfriend Ward. So, so it begins and ends with you. Uh, as it says in the song I posted before this video, and it really does. You know, it requires staying focused on yourself, on what you need to do to keep yourself strong and healthy. Um, and, you know, your dreams never die. You may have dreams that are dormant from the time you're very young and you still want to fulfill them, but you just don't know how. You don't know where to begin. You think it might be too late. You think you're too old. You think you're not worth it. You know, if you can understand that you are a project in, in the making all the time, there is no beginning or end. There is, just is, you know, this is you, this is your life. 
You can do anything that you want with your life at any time. There is no such thing as too late or too old. Just do it. Just get started with whatever that thing is that you want to do. I spoke to a friend the other day. Um, she really uh, inspired me because she was in a relationship that ended and although it was heartbreaking, she didn't realize the blessing that came after the ending of that relationship. And the blessing was that she discovered new things about herself, uh, new goals that were dormant because she was spending so much time with her relationship and using some of that time as an excuse to not get busy with the desires that she had. But now is pursuing, she's pursuing